Hey everybody, Josh here with you from the Marshall Auto Exchange. Going to do a quick video on our 2015 GMC Yukon. This is the SLT package in the 4x4 configuration. In this vehicle, I'll talk about mechanically how it runs and drives, cosmetically point out a couple things you might have missed in the photos, and then a little history on the vehicle. Before we get to that, I do want to let you know we operate by appointment Monday through Friday. We're 9 to 5. Saturdays, we operate 9 to noon. If you're looking for additional information on this vehicle, like number of owners, accident reports, things like that, you can head to carsforsale.com. Go ahead and search for this Yukon once you find it. Click on it. And then scroll down to Vehicle History Report, and they'll provide you with a free Vehicle History Report at no cost to you. Um, so we have a 2015 GMC Yukon SLT, so this is the first year of this body style. Um, very sharp truck cosmetically. There's a couple blemishes, but with the miles, nothing, nothing you wouldn't expect. Um, and then mechanically runs and drives great. This is the seven passenger with front row buckets, second row buckets, third row bench. All in all, very sharp Yukon, very nice shape. You got a couple, there's a rock chip here, just a couple little blemishes there. So it says the 5.3 liter V8. Little crack in the bumper there. Now some of these blemishes, I, I don't really like pointing them out because it really exaggerates how bad they are just because I zoom right in on it. Most of them you don't notice until you're walking around it, um, and the, sometimes the light's almost got to catch it the right way. It is a pre-owned vehicle, but all in all, sharp rig, runs and drives great. So with these SLTs, and GMC in general really likes their chrome, and they do a good job of incorporating it. So you got the chrome grill, chrome inlays in the headlamp, and then just the attention to detail, you got GMC badging inside of the headlamp. I mean, that's just really attention to detail. Chrome around the, uh, your fog lamps, 20 inch chrome wheels, the Yukon badge, SLT badge, window trim, and just attention to details. You have painted mirror caps, painted door handles, as opposed to you know the cheap plastic ones. Very nice tires on the front here. Coming to the back, we have second row captain's chairs, as I mentioned. Now, these second row seats, they can recline, obviously, so you can recline them back, up, drop them down like we just had them. Um, just give you some flexibility with your, your second row passengers on those longer car rides. They got the cup holders built right into the door. I like that there. It's, it's a good use of space. Second row heated seats, climate controls. You got two chargers in the rear. DVD player up top, vents up top as well as below, and then your third row. I got that seat folded down, but I'll show you why I did that. This is actually my second attempt on this video. Screwed up the first one six minutes in, so here we are, take two. So, in the third row, as you can see, when you have the seats up, there's not a ton of space back here in these Yukons. The Yukon XL are obviously going to be a little bit bigger, but you do get flexibility with your cargo. So you can fold these seats down, as you see here. You want to fold the other side down. The push of a button, down it goes. Say you want to fold the other side up. Push of a button, up it comes. You want to fold down that second row seat. Again, push of a button, down it goes. So very handy. You need flat storage. You can fold all the seats down. You get a ton of flat storage. You need maximum passenger space. Flip them all up. There's a ton of room there. So lots of flexibility with your cargo and passengers on the on the Yukons. Power lift gate. Push the button. Down the lift gate comes. There is a hitch underneath the plastic cover there. They just hide it. Coming to the front, you'll notice blind spot detection on the mirrors. So what that is, if there's somebody in your blind spot, that's going to illuminate bright yellow and inform you that there's somebody in your blind spot. Now, probably my favorite feature on these new vehicles. Well, first off, I'll show you the remote start. So remote start on the vehicle. Now, my favorite feature about these new vehicles, you can see the door is locked. All I got to do is walk up push this little button right here and it'll unlock now the reason that is my favorite feature on new vehicles in the winter time in the midwest most of the time we've got gloves on our keys are in our coats pockets purses they're buried somewhere and it's a pain to get them out so i really like the fact that i can just walk up squeeze the trigger the doors will unlock and i'm in my vehicle um, it senses the key it's just a really nice design on these newer vehicles um, one of my favorite features power door locks power windows power mirrors power driver seat with seat memory Upgraded Bose sound system. 
power driver seat controls. Once we get in, all we gotta do is put our foot on the brake, push this button, and all the electronics will power up. Light controls, four wheel drive, trailer brake controller, lane departure warning, traction control, adjustable foot pedals, so if you want them in or out, and then parking sensors. 175, 338 is the exact miles as of today. On the steering wheel, we got our cruise control, forward collision alert, heated steering wheel, voice commands. This pad here is going to run your information center, so it's like your fuel economy, trip information, things like that. Then if you want to hang up a phone call, just push that button there. Obviously, on these newer vehicles, they're all Bluetooth compatible. You've got OnStar right here. You can see there is a crack in the windshield. We are going to replace the windshield, so if you'd like to come look at the vehicle and you want to ask about if that's done, please give us just let us just give us an ask. We'll be happy to let you know if we've got that done yet or not. On the touch screen, we've got navigation, obviously your radio media controls, and a backup camera. Now those lines you see scrolling through, you don't see that in real life, that's just my phone not being able to keep up with the camera. Media controls, climate controls down below that, heated and cooled front seats, AC's blowing nice and cold. One of my favorite features about Yukons versus some of their competitors. Your rear climate controls are laid out, they're quick, easy to use. On the Expeditions, for example, you've got to dig through the touchscreen to find it. Yukons, GMCs, they got them right here. And then your DVD controls are right here as well. So you put the DVD in here, and the controls for it are here. Whereas on the, on the Expedition, for example, you have to control them from the headrest. So this is a way better design than what Ford has. Non-smoker, nice clean truck. We'll pop the hood quick, listen to it run, and I'm going to wrap this video up. On the hood, I guess I forgot to point this out. You can see if I can get the light to hit it. Right there, there's a ding there, and there's another one. Right about there. I can't even get it to light, but there's there's two significant little dings on the hood here. A rock chip right there. There is the 5.3 liter V8. Nice, strong running motor, no knocks, no ticks. Drives nice, shifts nice as it should. Freshly serviced, ready to hit the road. Nice, strong running truck. If you are interested in scheduling a test drive on this Yukon, you can reach us at 507-531-AUTO. That's 507-531-2886. You can find this truck in all of our inventory online at marshallautoexchange.com. Don't forget to ask about our financing for everyone with guaranteed approvals. And again, if you submit that credit app online, go ahead and give us a call or text the 2886 number. Let us know you submitted the, applica the application. We're happy to take a look at it for you right away. Uh, just due to the sheer volume of internet inquiries we get on a daily basis, the quickest, easiest, fastest, best way to get a hold of us is by call or text to that 2886 number. Um, especially if you submit a credit app or something, just give us a call or text. We'll be happy to answer any questions you have. That's the easiest, fastest, best way to get a hold of us. As a reminder, we do operate by appointment. Monday through Friday, we're 9 to 5. Saturdays, we operate 9 to noon. If you're looking... Um, Um, we operate uh, 9 to noon on Saturdays. If you're coming from a ways away, please give us a call or text before you come and schedule that appointment. We want to make sure that this truck is available and that there's somebody here to show it to you. It never fails once or twice a month when people come from an hour or two hours away and get here and maybe we're not here. We're on the road picking up cars that day or at the auction um, or maybe the vehicle's already sold. So please give us a call before you come. We want to make sure that this truck is available and that there's somebody around to show it to you. And lastly, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. We appreciate the feedback. We make these videos for you to help you in the buying process. So if you found it helpful, go ahead and hit that like button, and we hope to see you soon.